with all creation in the birth of our Savior. Our hearts leap for joy, for God is coming to us as a child. Holy is the one who comes in God's name, fulfilling every promise of God.
prevent time to come and celebrate Christmas with us. It is good to have you with us. The first lesson is from Genesis, and as we are celebrating Jesus' birth, we're going way back to the beginning. Hear these words. In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness, and the Spirit of God was moving over the water. Then God commanded, let there be light, and light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed and morning came. That was the first day. Then God commanded, let there be a dome to divide the water and to keep it in two separate places, and it was done. Evening passed and morning came. That was the second day. Then God commanded, let the water below the sky come together in one place so that the land will appear, and it was done. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of plants, those that bear grain and those that bear fruit. And it was done. Evening passed and morning came. That was the third day. Then God commanded, let lights appear in the sky to separate day from night and to show the time when days, years, and religious festivals begin. They will shine in the sky to give light to the earth. And it was done. Evening passed, and morning came, and that was the fourth day. Then God commanded, let the water be filled with many kinds of living beings, and let the air be filled with birds. So God created the great sea monsters, all kinds of creatures that live in the water, and all kinds of birds. And God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed, and morning came, and that was the fifth day. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small, and it was done. Then God said, and now we will make human beings. They will be like us and resemble us. They will have power over the fish, the birds, and all animals, domestic and wild, large and small. So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. And it was done. God looked at everything he had made, and he was very pleased. Evening passed, and morning came, and that was the sixth day. Let's stand together and sing hymn number 278, Angels We Have Heard on High. <laughs>
In spite of our sinfulness, your love for us never wavered. Fill our hearts with your mercy. Teach us to love. Show us how to forgive one another. Amen. You may be seated. The second lesson comes from Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteous Savior. Amen. Just as new branches sprout from a stump, so a new king will arise from among David's descendants. Wolves and sheep will, lie, will live together in peace, and leopards will lie down with young goats. Calves and lion cubs will feed together, and little children will take care of them. Cows and bears will eat together, and their calves and cubs will lie down in peace. Lions will eat straw as cattle do, and even a baby will not be harmed if it plays near a poisonous snake. <coughs> On next hymn, please join with me as we sing that. Let there be peace on earth. No words are in your bulletin. <coughs> we'll stay seated. We'll stay seated. 
seated for this one. In a world where so many people live in despair, God lights a candle of hope in our hearts. By all the seeds, us with deliverance, O God.
where so many people are living with sorrow, God lights a candle of joy in our hearts. In a world where so many people experience violence, God lights a candle of peace in our hearts. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness, to guide our feet into the way of peace. In a world where so many people wait in darkness, light comes into our hearts through a baby born in a manger. He is Emmanuel, God with us. This is the word of the Lord. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The light that shines in the darkness cannot be extinguished. Thanks be to God. Let's remain seated and sing together hymn number 273. Good Christian men rejoice. <laughs> But Mary. 
Mary was puzzled. How can this be? She said, for I am a virgin. Gabriel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Spirit of the Most High will overshadow you. So the one who is born will be called the Son of God. Hmm. Even Elizabeth, your relative, at her advanced age, she is expecting. And the one who people said would never have a child is in her sixth month. Because nothing, nothing is impossible with God. Mary thought about these things and she said, I am a servant of the Lord. Let it be with me as you have said. And then the angel left. And that is how Mary got that big news.
Let's pray together. Lord, in faith, Joseph and Mary trusted you. May we grow in our ability to trust and always rely on you. It can be hard to trust when we look around and, and we don't know from one day to the next what's going to happen. It can be challenging. One of the things that this church is so proud of doing is supporting what goes on in the community to make sure that those who might be having a rough time know that they can come here and we can help in ways, in so many ways, with, with uh, food, with an occasional gas card if that's what they need, with socks, with toothbrushes, the basic things. And so as we come forward for the offering tonight, these are the types of mission in the community that your gifts will support. And we thank you for that. <laughs> days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And this was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in claws and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available to them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, 
in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them.
Let us pray together. Lord, you came to us as a child in humility and vulnerability. May we always show loving care to those around us, especially for those who need it most. Amen. The seventh lesson comes from the Gospel according to Matthew. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time that the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Amen. Did everybody get a candle when you came in? 
know, this is a season that stimulates our imagination, and so we decided we don't want to catch our hair on fire anymore. <laughs> but we still want to have the magic of lighting candles. So you know how it works. It's got a little switch on the bottom. But I will come and I will start yours and you can take it back and forth to the choir. And as, as I lean over, you'll take the flame and, and yours will light as well. So as we let's stand and we'll sing together silent night as we pass the light among us.
and it's our call to discipleship. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. Amen.
Merry Christmas. 30 seconds. <laughs> I am so grateful you came to worship with us tonight. You know, Christmas is for children, and it brings out the children in all of us. So I want to share with you as a benediction and a blessing. It's called Sharon's Christmas Prayer. She was five, sure of the facts, and recited them with slow solemnity, convinced every word was revelation. She said they were so poor, they only had peanut butter jelly sandwiches to eat. And they went a long way from home without getting lost. The lady rode a donkey, the man walked, and the baby was inside the lady. They had to stay in a stable with an ox and an ass. <laughs> but the three rich men found them because a star lighted the roof. Shepherds came, and you could pet the sheep, but don't feed them. Then the baby was born, and do you know who he was? Her quarter eyes inflated to silver dollars. The baby was God. <laughs> And she jumped in the air, whirled around, dove into the sofa, and buried her head under the cushion, which is the only proper response to the good news of the Incarnation. Merry Christmas, and may you go in peace. Amen. Merry Christmas. Thank you.